And we're following breaking news right now. Check out our live stream of the Michelle Traconis trial. This is ongoing in Stanford as you take a live look inside the courtroom. Just minutes ago, the trial of Traconis resumed after a pause. She faces murder conspiracy charges in the death of Jennifer Dulos, the Nicanian mother of five who vanished back in 2019 after dropping her children off at school. Now, another issue with the juror has halted court proceedings, or at least did so for a bit of time this morning. Our Shannon Miller has been following this case very closely and extensively, and the trial. She joins us now. So what was this all about this morning? Yeah, Kevin, this happened just moments after court resumed this morning, shortly after 1015. A big development, as we know, jurors are not supposed to talk about the case with anyone. We learned, though, that a member of the jury passed a note to the court about possible misconduct. Here's what Judge Randolph said just with in the last hour. It reads, one of the jurors discussed something about the case, and it was all over social media. Said it was like Gone Girl. A brief mention, several other jurors said, don't discuss this. Now, the judge then asked the marshal who received that unsigned note to find out the name of the juror who wrote that note and passed it along. And they're now going to be questioning that juror. Now, um, again, the, the judge wanting to question, uh, again, who allegedly spoke about this case. The jury and the witnesses have been dismissed or were dismissed from court uh, to figure all this out. Uh, Kevin, that Gone Girl theory, of course, uh, first came up when Norm Pattis was representing Fotis Dulos, and he came up with this hypothesis that Jennifer Jennifer's disappearance could have been some sort of a revenge suicide hypothesis. Of course, Jennifer's family vehemently denied that claim. There's so many layers to this case and this trial as you've been following it so closely. This is the second time this week they've had an issue with the jury. What's going on here? Yeah, so on, earlier this week there was an issue when one of the jurors actually spoke with a member of the prosecution team and said, we love you. That juror, uh, alternate juror, was taken out, uh, no longer asked to be a part of the case. The other juror that was with him when he heard that man make the comment uh, was allowed to stay. Uh, but again, just moments ago, court resumed once again. Judge Randolph now talking about moving forward. We've just learned that the prosecution and defense will have a moment to ask this juror uh, about what they've heard uh, from their other jury members. I did hear just moments ago on the NBC Connecticut app live streaming coverage of the trial that that part will not be uh, over audio. So hopefully we we'll can learn more maybe about what happened after Judge Randolph makes his decision on how to proceed. And this is being a juror 101 that you keep right. your mouth shut, right, generally yeah. speaking? Yeah, this is part of the big concern was could these jurors handle this high profile case and already we've seen a couple Couple mishaps. All right, Shannon, getting us caught up and up to speed. And of course, you can stay on top of this case with Shannon's help with our daily special. It's called Inside the Trial of Michelle Traconis. Shannon will continue to have exclusive expert analysis on what's happening, all the details from the courtroom. It's at 9 a.m. every weekday uh, on our streaming channel here at NBC Connecticut, all those multiple platforms.